Good morning. We have an eventful day today, but first, gotta log into work. So, making my way through this freaking maze here. My bike and all these tools and crap. I've been here for probably two weeks. I think today we're actually gonna take the bike out for a spin. We have so many things going on. Alrighty, folks. Paige and Hank here. Are you clean? Yeah, you got a bath yesterday. Oh, you look at mama when I talk? That's so nice. Yeah, hi people. My name is Hanklin. I'm just a little guy. Oh, <laughs> he's tired. Here's what we got going. Today is Friday and we're finally at a point where Nolan is not working until eight o'clock at night because eight o'clock is just a little too late. By the time we have dinner ready and like actually sit down, it's nine o'clock. I'm lucky if I stay up till 11 because I am an old lady. Today we are actually going to be doing a date night. The plan is first to take our bikes out if mine is actually ready, which I don't think it's ready. Nolan hasn't figured the brakes out yet, so I might just have to use my feet to brake, which I can see that going south very quickly. But I need to get some footage of my bike because on my DIY channel, which if you're not following my art DIY sewing channel, I'll link that down below. It's always linked down below. You can go follow it. Anyway, I did the whole process of creating my DIY bike and now I just need to get some footage of me actually riding it. So we're going to do that. I have stuff for pot stickers. I made homemade pot stickers yesterday with like, I didn't make the actual little dough part. I bought them, but I do want to make the dough part sometime. But like I made this, the stuffing for it, which was ground pork. And I will show you if meat is gross to you. Don't look at this because it's raw. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Sorry, my, I just broke my desk. Hold on. Through the maze of things. So this is the mixture. I got hot, it's like a hot sausage that I think it's supposed to be used for like Italian sausage, but it has green onions, purple cabbage, some like chili paste, soy sauce, garlic. I don't know what else. And then there's these. They're just these little circle dumpling things and you just put it in there and then you get some water on your finger, you go around, the circle and then you fold it over and you press it and then you fry them in a pan and then you dump some water in there so you fry it for like two minutes dump some water in there like a third of a cup and then let it cook and uh, and i was like how is this raw meat going to cook through the dumpling wrapper thing because that freaks me out don't want to eat raw things and no one was like it's a dumpling wrapper. It's not an impenetrable force. It will actually, you'll be fine, but that freaks me out. Probably make that tonight. Plus I have ingredients for lettuce wraps because we're on an Asian kick and I want to try to make homemade ramen. I have like all this stuff for the broth. It's cold in here. One thing I hate about this house is it's concrete. I don't think it regulates its temperature very well. You have hiccups? Here, let me see you. Hank has hiccups. Are they gone? I was just trying to scare him. Boom! <laughs> scare the hiccups out. Are they scared? Are you good? You still smell stinky and I gave you a bath yesterday. How is that possible? Okay, go back to sleeping. You're fine. Sit down, little guy. Sit down. Come on, where are you gonna sit? There you go, that's a good boy. Plans might already be changing. I don't know why I told you everything that we were gonna potentially do because they always change. But my aunt texts me and she wants to go to dinner tonight at P.F. Chang's. So I text Nolan and asked him if he wants to go to dinner with my aunts because that would be fun. Haven't seen them for a while and then they could come over and see our place. Even though it's not totally put together yet. <sighs> These dang command strips, guys. I used to love command strips, but they have not been working. I mean, granted, I have been trying to hang some pretty heavy things with the command strips, 
like our mirrors on the wall. And then let me just show you the most depressing thing ever. So we have this mirror, which is doing fine. But this guy, yeah, it broke. Um, we have this picture from actually my aunt that just reached out. So the mirror right here, it was hanging on the wall right here because I wanted to do mirror, picture, mirror, right? I took this one down because I, I was like, I don't want it to break. But this fell off the wall and it fell into my cute little jewelry plate. Nolan kindly glued it back together yesterday, but this is really sad to me because it was my great grandma's. Yeah, I got this from my mom and I was like, oh yes, I shall take care of it. I got it through the move. And then no, the mirror fell on it and I was way more sad about this. Right, Hank? You have to be involved. Than that, even though that mirror was like 150 bucks from Ikea, but I was way more sad about this because it was my great grandma's. But Nolan glued it back together and it looks pretty good. You're a good boy. Good stretching. I was just working here and listening to a podcast. It's called Girls After Dark and it's not like the most wholesome podcast. So yeah, take that with what you will. Anyway, one of the girls was talking about how literally this last weekend she was sexually assaulted by her boyfriend or no, her ex-boyfriend, not her boyfriend. Her boyfriend is great. Her ex-boyfriend, not great. And yeah, he like literally was drunk and grabbed her boob and then like choked her. Not okay. But it just reminded me because they were saying like sometimes you don't realize that something happened or like it's worse than you think until someone tells you that um, because her boyfriend w wasn't with her at the time but was like, hey, come home. Let's call the police and file a report because that's like not okay. It's not an excuse if you're drunk too an excuse like if you get violent when you're drunk don't drink that's my opinion but it just reminded me there was one time when I was in college and I was well actually I was it was after college but I was like dating around and I think it was like a second date with this guy and I don't I don't kiss people or like really like to make out until a couple of weeks or like I at least know that they're interested in me because you just get guys that are just making out with you all the time and then they're like I actually don't like you and I don't like your personality and I had that happen too many times enough times in college that I was like okay no so anyway it was like a second date with this guy we were watching a movie and we were just like cuddling which like I'm fine with cuddling like in my opinion like it's like harmless like I don't think you should cuddle with like just guy friends because that will lead them on and give them the wrong impression but um, we were just cuddling and like watching a movie and he was getting all like flirty and touchy and like literally was like this close to my face and like I knew that he wanted to like make out and stuff but I literally told him on our very first date like I don't kiss people unless like I know that they actually want to date me. I don't know, I just want to get to know people before I actually kiss them because I've had it backfire before. So I literally told him that and then we hung out again and he was all up in my face and I was like no like and he kept trying to get me to kiss him and like wanted to you know do stuff and I kept being like no like I don't want to and so finally after a minute I was like no like I'm serious right now I don't want I don't want to make out I want to get to know you better like can we just like chill and watch this movie or like do something else and I didn't say it in a mean way I just said like these are my boundaries and he freaked out at me he freaked out he told me that i'm controlling that no one's ever going to want to date me because i just control everything all the time and that it's weird that i don't want to make out with him and stuff and i was like what is happening right now it was so weird and so i was like i'm not trying to make this awkward but like i'm gonna go because i don't feel comfortable so i left his house and I called one of my friends and I was like, this just happened. Am I in the wrong? Like, should I have just made out with him? Am I being controlling? Is this weird? And she was like, no, you are not being controlling. It's okay to have boundaries. You communicated your boundaries. You told him in a kind way, like, please don't. I just don't want to make out with you. Like, not ever, but just like right now, you know? And she told me like, you're not controlling. And there are guys that are capable of not doing that because my husband is one of them. We literally were friends for an entire year 
and he never tried anything. He made me feel very comfortable. Even when we were dating, he knew my boundaries. I communicated them to him. I mean, he tried to push them a little bit, but like, that's because he thought I was freaking hot. He respected me and you should not have to adapt to what every guy wants you to do. It is okay to have boundaries. There have been so many guys that I dated or like not even dated, but like just like went on dates with and they would freak out if I didn't want to do stuff with them. And it's like, dude, I'm trying to get married here. I'm trying to get to know you. Like the physical stuff is less important to me than like who you are as a person. And this is showing who you are as a person because you're getting mad at me because I don't want to have sex with you. Yeah, that literally happened the night before I met Mol Molan. <laughs> the night before I met Nolan, a guy was at my house and was getting mad at me because he wanted to have sex and I was like no and then I had to kick him out of my house and so then when I went out with Nolan for the first time I was like I am not a slut you cannot try anything and he was like okay I don't know what's wrong with this girl but then I told him the story and he was like okay it makes sense that's my story that is not okay communicate your boundaries and if a guy is not respecting them they are not good for you because they should be fully capable of keeping it inside their pants and if they really respect you they will you know i put some of my extensions in because i was watching one of my i would say we're youtube friends one of my youtube friends videos today um if you're watching this kate hello and she got the same hair extensions that i have from maxita hair extensions she put them in today and i was like oh i want to put mine in because i can usually not do super cool long braids like this but now i can i didn't want to you know put that much effort into how i look right now and i was gonna put makeup on but i don't think i'm going to anymore did a little trim trim on my bangs i'm gonna put some clothes on now and then i'm gonna take this fool out do you want to go outside you know that word don't you you're smart you're so smart i love you then we'll, then we'll go on date night i know you love it you love going outside hold on mama has to put some clothes on I don't think we will be riding our bikes to dinner because it's currently raining. Also, this is our new dog poop area. You can see the background of it. I'm not telling you where I live though. That's creepy. Oh yes, it's working. I need more content for our date night. Like for our great night. Our great night. Our great night. Smurf. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, the other ones too. That's so cool. I need content. So, in my life, I think we just can't have any private moments anymore. I forgot to record it's, our it's freaking date on, night. It's all gonna be on camera. Continue. It's more than a but...